wherever that you see the jet chemtrails go over, you're going to get aluminum barium strontium coming down on you. Why would we not believe it's happening when what we see in the sky matches exactly the express goal of numerous geoengineering patents, about 160 or more? Why would we not believe this is happening when every element showing up in the rain tests are the primary elements named in those geoengineering patents? Why would we not believe this is happening when we have escalating levels in very sh short time frames, as, much, as short as five years, we see rain levels of aluminum, for example, escalating as much as 50,000%. California air quality studies do not show these metals migrating from China. And it's of recent origin, so you know this bombardment of heavy metals that's raining down on us is, is coming from somewhere. Why would we not believe geoengineering is occurring when the weather patterns are so altered here in exactly the manner stated by geoengineers and reports on the consequences for geoengineering, which are diminished rainfall, which are increased ozone destruction. We have a massive ozone hole in the northern hemisphere now. And for the better part of 30 years, I worked in the aerospace and defense industry. I had a secret clearance twice during my career. Some of the technology that I saw or uh, participated in the creation of tends to play a role in um, some of the, the things that are used to control the weather. The very distribution process is being employed in the aerosol campaign, manipulating the weather, crops, um, you know, taking over the, the, uh, the food production or controlling the food production, the military applications, the process evolved when they realized in the in the 1800s that you can put things into the environment that will influence the uptake of moisture and where it drops out of the atmosphere again. Okay, so this is off the coast, off the Pacific Coast, Humboldt Bay. And you can see the lininess to this these clouds here. They're not very billowy like the other clouds we just looked at. You can see the lininess here. And then once again, if we look at the other types of clouds, these are the more natural clouds. And then off over the coast, we see the artificial clouds with the lininess to them. You can see these clouds here, the straightness and the billowiness. And then here we have the rib or zebra clouds going on here. You can tell this is a man-made cloud. The uh, electromagnetic manipulation is happening right there. So this is, it's almost like man-made cloud below, more of a natural cloud on top, but uh, to say that that's a natural cloud is probably not correct. If we look over here, we see this same type of man-made cloud. You can see the rippling effect of the cloud. 
the zebra clouds as I call them or scalar wave clouds it's like radio frequency remote control clouds this is similar to the way iron filings uh, uh, appear in uh, the force of a magnet and so there were no direct sprays today but we have these these clouds here are probably moving from off the coast so off the coast over here we have these sprays drifting in and these are moving due due west northwest and that's all that's all artificial cloud right there commonly used to make these clouds are such materials as barium, strontium, aluminum dust, sulfur, coal ash, and they could be spraying just about anything. And there's a whole disinformation propaganda pro program out there um, I actually called up the EPA and the EPA said they knew what I was talking about and referred to referred me to the Contrail hotline and so the Contrail hotline came on and they had a recording said that they don't know anything about any jet spraying any materials and go to the website the EPA website on how contrails form so uh, the EPA is admitting they don't know anything about it basically they're saying they don't know anything about it yet it's all going on in plain sight and so somebody somebody is not um, being truthful about this whole geoengineering weather manipulation program and rightly so if you wanted to take advantage of someone, it's best that they didn't know. Is that correct? It's best that they didn't know. You're, if you're, you were trying to overtake an adversary. And so here we have, on record, UN Agenda 21 as aimed at it's United Nations UN Agenda 21 and I think they have now 2030 UN Agenda 2030 where they want to reduce the population and spraying things in the air like coal ash, barium, aluminum, strontium is definitely going to reduce the population. We have respiratory disease is now the main cause well, it's the third leading cause of death. Um, before that, it's going to be dementia. Dementia is now the leading cause of death in the UK. And when you have particulates of aluminum, barium, strontium, coal ash, sulfur floating around in your air, um, particularly the aluminum is cause, going to cause the dementia and so yeah and they would rather not have you know they would not they would rather not have you know anything about the genetically altered seeds that will grow in the fallout from the stuff they're spraying they would want you to buy their seeds so that you can grow their GMO seeds. You'll have to buy the GMO seeds. But at this point, all bets are off because I don't see how 
the biosphere, whatever, the trees are going to be able to stand all this fallout. And from what I understand, it makes the, the pH of the soil um, sort of uncontrollable. Um, so basically it, it stays at an even rate and it's not, they can't be, for instance, up here, we should have sort of an acid soil. So these sprays are actually making the soils more alkaline, from what I understand. And so this is not the natural soil for these trees, this particular tree here and the redwood trees. So that's what we got going on today. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends.